Salt 92.3. I also, at the show, heard you talk about how uh, one of your earlier Florence and the Machine songs, Falling, was inspired in part by New York, where we are here. Has mm. this city informed you or shaped you as an artist as you've grown and traveled through it and played different places and seen different people and had different cathartic live music experiences? How has New York been part of that? Um, it really has, like, I mean, it's an emotional place for me, family-wise, like, some, f some family stuff happened here that I kind of talk about in the song End of Love. So there's an emotional weight to New York City for me, but that also when I come here, there's this kind of, like, aliveness to it that feels so full of longing and you're sort of lonely and overwhelmed, but it's kind of amazing. It really had a big impact on me for this record. There was, I was finishing up my tour for How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, and we were kind of finishing up the shows here. And there was only a couple of days in New York, but it was a very electric time and there was so much going on. And I had that feeling, that kind of like out of body feeling you have when you're walking around New York. and and talking to strangers and talking to people who've been to the show and and there was just this sense of like no one really knew what was going to happen but people were, were like connecting and I don't know everyone felt very open it was definitely like inspired some songs like the the sort of electricity of that time was very kind of intoxicating and inspiring um it kind of made me realize how important, like within the big chaotic stuff, how important even small interactions are with people just, just connecting. But it really was, um, and then when I came back to New York to mix the record, I would see, stay in Brooklyn, and I would kind of see the skyline going over the bridge, and it inspired me to write this poem, New York poem for Polly, which included the line, you know, ever reaching high as hope. And I decided to call the album that because I was going to call it the end of love because for me it was dealing with love in a different way perhaps not love in a romantic sense but like an end of love that came from a place of lack or need um but I thought maybe that would had too negative a thing and then when I wrote this poem I was like maybe that's it you know maybe the because there's a lot of feelings on this record and there's like sadness and there's anger and there's joy, but in amongst it, you know, I still have hope. And, and really the way that people have been responding to hunger and really understanding the bigger concepts behind it and the bigger ideas and that shared sort of sense of human longing, that gives me a huge amount of hope. You know, I really feel like people's minds are becoming so much more open. So I'm so grateful to everyone.